Good morning, everybody. We are working on GSX pin setters today. Um, the issue we have with this lane is that uh, apparently the ballast uh, blew up or released the magic blue smoke. Um, the ballast was replaced and the fuse blew again. I can't focus. Hold on. Um, but currently there are no fuses for the deck lamps. Uh, looks like the uh, right lane fuse was stolen to put in the left lane fuse holder and that blew and uh, now we're pretty much out of fuses. Um, so before I put a fuse in there and blow it up, uh, I'm going to take a look at some of the other wiring um, on the new ballast. Perhaps the new ballast is bad. Perhaps there's some bad wiring or maybe it was miswired. Uh, we could even have a problem with the uh, the CPU board here. So we're going to check our fuse leads to ground and see if we don't have a potential issue on this board. Um, I don't have a lot of room to work here. Um, my back is literally up against the masking unit. This is a tight spot. Um, I don't have a good place to set the camera down and use two hands for metering purposes. So I'm going to meter these off camera um, and then come back and let you know what I find. So we metered um, both legs of that fuse holder to ground and got nothing. So we know we at least don't have a short to ground. Uh, I'm going to flip around under to the deck light. Uh, we'll do a visual inspection there. Make sure all the wires are landed on the right terminals. Make sure nothing's miswired. Um, and we'll take it from there. I did a little preliminary check on the wiring. Um, all the wires are landed in the proper spot. Um, we don't have any shorts to ground here from the ballast. Um, black and white here go out to your plug. Um, these wires go out to the lamps and the relays. This is a uh, black light, white light um, switching setup instead of um, LED. And I kind of got to thinking, like, what if the new ballast that got put in had a problem? Um, so while nobody was watching, I opened the cover. And I took a peek in here. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. Maybe swing some light in. You can see in there. VR1 on the bottom is yellow. Uh, VR2 on the top has um, turned this lovely crusty brown black color um, and completely decided to explode into the capacitor next to it. It looks like it took out the resistor. So there may have been an issue with this new ballast and um, it was a problem um, even sitting on the shelf. It was a ticking time bomb. Something was wrong. I don't know. Um, but one thing is for sure, this ballast is 100% bad. Uh, we need to see if we can source another ballast out. Uh, I'm working in Portland today. I've got one in Beaverton. Um, it's a little bit of a drive out and back, but I think we can do it. Uh, they also have one fuse in stock. Uh, they're going to need at least two uh, I've got more fuses out there, so I'm going to have to go on a parts run, um, but we should be able to get this up and running here pretty quick. All right. So we did have to drive all the way across town to our sister center, but we have a ballast and we have an entire fixture. So uh, we'll see. My money is going to be on, there was an issue with that ballast, right? Um, cause I've had it out low bridge. I've had it happen before. I've had issues where I've, I've seen this problem, right? It's not, uh, anything new to me. Black wire, black wire to the left, um, blue wire. Blue wire to the left. Bottom blue wire goes to the right. 
We're going to do bottom red, black to the left. Um, ballast or relay. We're going to go black, red, blue, top to bottom. We don't need to take the coil wires off. We've got that screw loose. Um, the one on this side, the nut needs to come off. Oops. There we go. Just set that in there. All right. We need to fetch the new ballast. I should not have put it so far away. Oh well. I'm getting pretty good at commando crawling, right? <laughs> um, oh, somebody dropped this lock washer. Well, we'll go ahead and stuff it back in there, too. That way, there's less of a chance of that nut getting uh, loose. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, oh, I dropped it again. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to hold that screwdriver at the same time. <laughs> Experiencing technical difficulties. Please become connected. All right. Let's see if I can go a little wider here. I just realized you guys are kind of, I'm out of frame a little bit. But, okay. Where did, where did the lock washer go? Oh boy. So we are missing one lock washer. Uh, that's unfortunate. I do not know where it is. And we are rapidly approaching opening time, so just torque that down really tight. Ridiculously tight. Okay. Let's bring our relay back in. We're going to go black, red, blue, I believe. Okay. Blue on the left. Well, let's start with power here. Um, here screwdriver. Ground. Neutral. On. There, it's hot. Oh no. Did not pass the tug test. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright. Black uh, to the left. We're gonna go one there. One there. Blue is going to go on the terminals back here. Top two going to the left. Come on, come on. There we go. And what, what is left? Um, this blue from the right should go on the bottom terminal okay um, and then I believe it goes black to the right lamp end and red to the right lamp end on the bottom um, all right I'm gonna pause it here and just double check uh, the picture on my phone 
Okay, wiring has been verified um, through photographic evidence of the pictures that I have taken of previous ballasts. So uh, let's jump around up front. Uh, we'll put a fuse in the board. We'll um, test it without uh, plugging the deck lamp in first, just to make sure there's nothing wrong with the uh, next gen board. Then we'll plug the deck lamp ballast in, and we'll put some new put a new white lamp in it, and uh, we should be good to go. Cool. We got a new deck lamp in. We got a new ballast in. We put a new fuse in the next gen, and the deck light fired up. Um, we're good to go. We're just going to put the covers back on everything and then jump on to the next issue.